Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Maria Werden from The Forever Method, and here's something that's been very close to my heart since I was four years of age, and that's giving, and a sense of giving back, charity, philanthropy, whatever you wish to call it. It's that sense of doing something for other people, and that's why in recent years I formalised it into Maria Werden Planeteer's Philanthropy. When I was four, a family member died of leukaemia, and when I was old enough and they allowed me to volunteer abroad, the hospital where she was once cared for in France allowed me to volunteer in their hospital and uh, it was my first foreign volunteering post and I've been doing it ever since around the world and uh, it was pretty amazing, pretty amazing experience to just be able to give back in such a way. This is a man who has really inspired me since I was, wow, a young woman, 2021 20, in particular. This is Pat Falvey. Now, Pat is known around the world for being the first Irish person to reach the summit of Mount Everest. He's just an unbelievably phenomenal climber, one of the best who's ever lived. And, you know, been a huge inspiration and mentor figure for me since I was quite young. And I remember he always saying to me, Marie, dream big, and then dream even bigger. So that's what I started to do. And that's us actually on top of the tallest mountain in Ireland called Coran Tuval, 3414 feet. And uh, we were doing a charity climb um, for a young girl who was born without arms and without legs. An amazing, amazing child, young woman now. And uh, a deeply honouring experience to be able to to do something like that and, and to give back. And this video is really like going down memory lane for me. So so thank you for coming on this journey with me. When I was 22, I funded my own project to the slums of Calcutta. And this is what I was faced with morning, noon and night. These are families who were bathing, washing in sewers. And that's as clean as it would get. And I grew up fast. And I think I helped to evolve into the person that I became very much with Mother Teresa's influence as well, and who would have thought that the last interview that Mother Teresa gave in her home in Calcutta back in 1997 face-to-face -face was with me, this young Irish kid who was 22 and deeply honoured and humbled. And now I look back and it's like, you know, she had an INFJ personality, so do I. And I guess that's why it felt like I was coming home in her presence. Really, really profound impact on my life and feel deeply honoured and you know Mother Teresa's bedroom is where she kept her rewards under the bed out of sight she was never one for publicity or anything like that and can you imagine a Nobel Peace Prize being under someone's bed unseen very humbling experience to be around someone like Mother Teresa when I was VIP at the London 2012 Olympics I was reunited for the first time in 15 years with Sister Georgina and that's Sister Georgina there, and her doggy, Ambrose. Can't forget the dog, Ambrose. And what an amazing experience to reunite it with this woman. And um, Sister Georgina lived in the same house as and worked with Mother Teresa for, wow, 36 years. And it was just amazing to be reunited with her. And my, my sister, my baby sister, Elaine, she, she, well, not a baby anymore, but she surprised me. She arranged this whole meeting and... Uh, I'm just so thankful and grateful that I was reunited with her 15 years after interviewing Mother Teresa. There have been a lot of organisations I've been involved with over the years as well, before I formalised my own charity work with Maria Ward and Planeteers Philanthropy, and even James Bond, Pierce Brosnan, was involved in another charity endeavour, so it was amazing to, to get to meet a man who really wants to give back, and also give back in an Irish context as well. Very, very proud moment. Before I was even born, my mother got to meet Paul Newman in the 70s, before I was even born, in the duty-free in Shannon Airport where she worked. And this was the story I heard as a kid, you know, my mom meeting Paul Newman, which was the equivalent of, like, Brad Pitt. And I remember as a young child, she remembers this too, and I said, oh, I'm going to meet Paul Newman when I grew up, and said it with such certainty when I was so young. And that's exactly what happened years later and hugely influenced by his philanthropy and giving back in charity as well, you know, with the, the gang camps around the world, and one in Ireland too, and also Newman's Own giving back to charity. And it was interesting, you know, there have been so many coincidences in my life, I don't believe in coincidences, and I just, you know, can't ignore them either. 
But after Paul died, I discovered that another family member who's been a mentor of mine since I was 14 years of age was friends with Paul. So, you know, my mom, me and my cousin, and who would have thought? So it's great to go down memory lane here. This is one of my volunteering gigs. I volunteered in an orphanage in sub-Saharan Africa, in Kenya, uh, Nairobi, Engang, Nairobi in the slums. We went down to Mombasa. And there's some of the, we call them the elephant kids that I was looking after in my group. My responsibility was for the elephant group. And there we'll go left to right. Oh, uh, there's little Simon. And, oh, Hannah, amazing kid as well. Emma, beautiful person. And Lawrence. Yeah, he's so, so tall now. And a uh, hugely humbling experience for me. And uh, really, really appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, there's Hannah. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun in, in Africa. And uh, one of the highlights for me was, you know, taking them on safari to actually see the animals that they'd never seen in real life before. Imagine, you know, being born and bred and reared in Africa and never seeing the big animals. And it was a deeply humbling experience for me. I loved it. It's my cousin Amy. She was in the audience when I was uh, on stage in America there last year. An amazing human being and has volunteered in the likes of Puerto Rico with her mom, Vicky, who's an amazing soul as well, and in China and uh, bringing their good work to children and the disadvantaged around the world. And uh, she's been a huge inspiration for me. And uh, she came to Oprah with me, actually, um, earlier on in the year. And just an amazing, amazing person and someone I feel very honoured and privileged to have in my life as well. So here's something that happened, wow, last year I was, a, you know, at a, a gala dinner on top of a mountain in Abu Dhabi. And I get presented with the Middle East Internet Awards Honorary Award for 2011 for my recycled iPhones project in Africa with Maria O'Reilly and Planeteers Philanthropy. And, oh man, I got so emotional because I, I accepted the award on behalf of uh, Deirdre, who died of leukemia when I was four, and Seamus, who died tragically as a baby. He was two when I was six years of age. And, uh, oh man, I was in bits. I'd be hugely honoured that um, I had an opportunity to help some children and to an exceptional award on behalf of them and just, um, you know, have a little piece of, of family remembered years, years later as well. So a hugely humbling experience. Yeah, Oprah basically has been a huge inspiration too. She has her academy in Africa and I've been educating children in Africa since I was in my 20s. And, you know, being over with Oprah earlier on in the year was just a hugely humbling experience. And another INFJ personality, and I'm INFJ myself, like Mother Teresa, it was really, really interesting to be surrounded by that energy again. It was interesting the, the similarities I found between the energy of Mother Teresa and the energy of Oprah Winfrey in person. It's very much the same. Just this huge depth of humanity. And uh, I will never forget it as long as I live. And this is me just giving something back to where I came from. I grew up in the middle of nowhere in, in, in Limerick in Ireland. And, you know, the irony is that, you know, I failed English in my final exams. Never did well academically. But the irony is that now I, I train in universities. And this is one of the trainings I did to give back in the University of Limerick. And uh, you know, hugely humbling to have Olympians, Paralympians, um, press, mayors, politicians, government ministers, beautiful general public um, and athletes of all types in the audience as well. Young and old, I mean we even had babies in the audience with their parents and uh, I just hugely enjoy giving back in that way and uh, that's just a little bit of insight, bit of background as to why charity or giving or a, a giving consciousness or philanthropy or whatever you wish to call it has been a huge part of my life and continues to be. And, uh, you know, I hugely believe that it's, it's, it's not about me. It's about the next generation now. It's about legacy. It's about giving back. It's about the family tree effect and paying it all forward. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate you.